Yo, what's going on everybody? It's Salvaje. So these are the absolute must-have weapons that you want to be going after as you open up those year 2 birthday llamas. I will be putting up gameplay examples of these weapons, giving you guys a short description of why you need it, and I'm also going to be telling you guys what are some of the recommended perks that I like to use or that I recommend with those specific weapons. Those videos, these videos, I mean, take time to make, so a like on the videos appreciated. And of course, feel free to use my supporter creator code. See y'all on the next one. So, the absolute must-have weapon that you need from Year 2 Birthday Llamas is the Pain Train Assault Rifle. This thing is a powerhouse. It's pretty much good with any hero in the entire game. Uh, with critical rating, double critical damage, and magazine size, and tactical assault sledgehammer, this becomes literally the most overpowered, the highest damaging assault rifle in the entire game and the reason for that is is because this weapon every time that it shoots uh, the weapon gets extra damage and that's what makes the pain train the best assault rifle in the entire game despite the fact that it also loses about 50 percent of its damage at the eight to nine tile range as well so this is pretty much the god of all assault rifles and save the world and the absolute must have weapon from uh, year two birthday llamas that you absolutely need the Santa's Little Helper Rocket Launcher is also very good, and I would rock it with critical rating and triple critical damage, that's what most players rock it with. The Yeoman Sniper Rifle is really good because it has a specific niche, and that is destroying the UFO in war games and endurance. You want to rock this thing with max reload speed, critical damage, and critical rating. The Yeoman also shoots through husk, and that's what makes it a valuable sniper as well. The Basilisk Pistol is also another weapon that you want from the Year 2 Birthday Llamas, although it's not something that you absolutely need. It's just a pretty basic pistol that does some pretty good sustainable damage, specifically if you have a loadout for it. The Stalwart Squire Shotgun is another weapon that you absolutely want from the Year 2 Birthday Llamas. This is a shotgun that has one bullet, but it has a pretty decent reload speed, so you want to make sure that you put a reload speed perk on this thing, and you can put a critical rating perk on it, make sure you upgrade it all the way up, and you can also put three critical damage perks if you want. So in other words, critical rating and three critical damage perks. And uh, yeah, this shotgun can do up to 500,000 damage. That's what makes it really, really good. Up next, the Ratatat Pistol. And this is a machine pistol in Fortnite Save the World. It's a really, really good pistol with triple damage and a magazine size, or with triple damage and reload speed. And the Ratatat is also really good with magazine size, critical rating, and double critical damage. Me personally, however, I like to run it with uh, triple damage for the more consistent, uh, what's this thing called? For the more consistent damage. Uh, up next is the Old Betsy Sniper Rifle. It's a sniper rifle that only has one bullet, but a really fast reload speed, specifically if you put the reload speed perk all the way up to Legendary. The Old Betsy is very versatile as well because you can run a critical rating, double critical damage build or you can do a double headshot damage build for massive amounts of headshot damage. Uh, another weapon is the Dragoon Shotgun. The Dragoon, if you have a lot of husks standing right in front of you, you basically just shoot it and it will damage husk in a 180 degree uh, sort of way, okay? So this is the best short range shotgun. Uh, in Fortnite Save the World. And by short range, I mean like right on the face of the husk. The Dragoon is works really well with double reload speed and uh, impacts. And the reason why it works really well with those perks, it's because it makes it so that you can constantly be shooting it at the close ranges and be pushing husk far away from you. The Bowler Launcher is also pretty good. Uh, it's really good for destroying structures. That's what I use it for. The Bundle Bus. This is yet another weapon that you absolutely 100% need. The Bundle Bus is an assault rifle that's an 8 round burst and it does a lot of damage. This is going to be your smash of the leader at the higher levels of play. So you absolutely want reload speed on Legendary with the Bundle Bus. And you want that because the Bundle Bus has a really slow reload speed. And you want to put critical rating and double critical damage as well. That's what I've been running for the past year and it has been working perfectly for me. The Typewriter, this is another top tier assault rifle. This is what I'm hoping to get from the year 2 birthday llamas. This is the item that I want the most. The Typewriter melts things with just a fire rate perk and you can just put whatever you, know, whatever you want for the other perks. Or you can go for a critical rating, double critical damage build with the Typewriter. Uh, the only bad thing about the Typewriter from my understanding is that it doesn't have a super crazy good reload speed. But it's pretty decent and hopefully my boy can lend me his Typewriter so that I can show you guys some gameplay of it. 
Up next, we have the Ginger Blaster Pistol. You want to be running critical rating with this thing, double critical damage and reload. And you want the Ginger Blaster Pistol because it's just a really good physical pistol that is going to be doing great amounts of damage to physical smashers and miss monsters. This is going to be a pistol that you're going to be using to delete those basic husks that don't really have the elements on them. Anyways, the crank shot is the next weapon, and the, the crank shot is a fully automatic sniper that can out damage assault rifles. Most of the assault rifles in Fortnite save the world. You want to be running the crank shot also with the Sub Zero Zenith Mythic Hero, like that you're constantly freezing things. I had to recycle my first crank shot because I needed the raindrops, but you want to be running critical rating, double crit damage, and magazine size, I believe, for the crank shot, as well as a stability perk because the crank shot has a lot of recoil. Overall, the crank shot is just a really good sniper that's going to be dishing out really fast, consistent damage. The two-step shotgun is definitely a weapon you want to be on the lookout for. I'm not a huge fan of it. I never leveled it up, but it's pretty good at the medium to close ranges. And the perks that I recommend with this weapon, I don't know because I've never used it. I just know it's good because my friends have told me. <laughs> Another assault rifle that you want to get your hands on is the Hemlock Assault Rifle. So this assault rifle basically melts everything that stands in front of it and it has a ton of perk variety. Some people say that the Hemlock Assault Rifle isn't really that good just because it has a lot of recoil, but honestly I 100% disagree. The recoil on the Hemlock Assault Rifle is pretty manageable. The weapon loses about 50% of its range from the 6 to 7 tile range. On top of all that, like I said, it does massive amounts of damage and it has a lot of perk variety. And the Hemlock can basically do what the Bobcat and the Silent Spectre can do, but even better, because the Hemlock, even though it's sort of like an SMG, it has more traits that an Assault Rifle has. I recommend that you run the Hemlock with Critical Rating, Damage, Magazine Size, and Critical Damage. That's the role that I like to run with my Hemlock. I also want to point out that I have multiple Hemlocks for different occasions as well. That's how good this Assault Rifle is. And the Hemlock is also really good with Fire Rate, Reload Speed, Headshot Damage, and Damage, or Fire Rate, Magazine Size, Headshot Damage, and Damage. It just depends whether you're going to be using your Hemlock for uh, low priority targets like Husky Husk and Basic Husk. You want to go with the Reload Speed if that's the case. But if you want a Hemlock that's going to be Melting Smashers, yeah, go with the Magazine Size and the Fire Rate build. It's really, really powerful. The last word is another weapon that you want from the year two birthday llamas. This is the best six bullet pistol in the entire game. And the reason why the last word is better than the ginger blaster is because it's able to dish out basically the same amount that the ginger blaster dishes out when it comes down to damage numbers. But most importantly, the last word can change its element from energy to nature to fire to uh, water, which means that it has the utility that the ginger blaster sort of lacks at. On top of all that, if you use quick draw calamity and you have a pistol loadout that specializes on the last word, you can you, you can just dish out massive amounts of damage to the last word. On top of all that, you can shoot this weapon from the hip from five tiles away and the accuracy is going to be next to perfect. On top of all that, it also has uh, that when you eliminate a husk with a headshot, the husk is going to explode. So if the husk get up close to you, the last word is the pe perfect pistol for it. And it's also fully automatic, so you can just hold down the trigger and it will shoot. I've been running my last word with critical rating, double critical damage, and reload speed, and it has been working perfectly. Wow, I thought this video was going to be longer, but <laughs> I guess it's, it won't. So another weapon that you want in year two birthday llamas is the double boiler shotgun. And in my opinion, this is the funnest, best shotgun in the entire game. It's pretty decent at the medium ranges, but it's most likely going to specialize at the two tile range or so. And this is just a shotgun that has two bullets in the magazine. You can reload it really quickly, a lot of damage at the close ranges. And most importantly, uh, since it specializes on close ranges and medium ranges, you can be very uh, mobile with it uh, if you're playing an Outlander, for example. I just have a lot of fun with this shotgun. And the perks that I run with it is reload, uh, critical damage, damage, and critical rating. And that build you know, basically makes the double boiler shotgun a great overall shotgun for any encounter in the medium to close ranges. And another weapon that you want from the year two birthday llamas is the Jack's Revenge Pistol. So this is a pistol that can dish out, I believe, up to 300,000, 400, 500,000 damage if you have it perked up correctly and you have the correct hero loadout. The perks that I rock with the Jack's Revenge is reload speed, critical rating, critical damage, and damage. The Jack's Revenge can also dish out massive amounts of headshot damage if you do a double headshot damage build. 
but most importantly uh, Another thing that the Jack's Revenge has is that it can shoot through multiple husks. So if you line up the Jack's Revenge and you're in a trap tunnel, uh, and, and you know the husks are coming through the trap tunnel, you can just shoot the Jack's Revenge and hit multiple husks, right? So the must-have weapons that you absolutely want. Jack's Revenge, double boiler shotgun, uh, the last word, the crankshot sniper rifle, typewriter, bundle bus, paint train, and stalwart squire and the old Betsy. Those are my must-have weapons. Let me know what are yours in the comment sections below, and I'll be seeing you guys in the next one. Hope you guys found this video helpful. Peace.